What is going on, y'all? It is the caveman back at it again with another video. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday starts wild card weekend. I, I mean, I've been saying it all week, but I cannot believe it's here already. I cannot believe the season is pretty much over. I'm going to lose my shit that the offseason's already back. But we're going to enjoy each and every last second of football for the season that we have left. And today, I'm giving you my predictions. I'm giving you my picks for wild card weekend. And before we get into that, you guys know the drill around here Mott's applesauce if you're ever hungry thirsty whatever it might be Mott's applesauce will satisfy whatever satisfy you need to satisfy the k-man guarantee i promise it will never fail you obviously last week was the last week of the regular season and in my week 18 game picks i went 10 and 6 it was hard to predict who was going to actually play their starters who wasn't yada 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 and that makes my overall record for the 2021 season 173 86 and 1 i would say that's pretty damn good i'm going to try and get to that 200 win mark next year kicking off wild card weekend at 4 30 p.m tomorrow on saturday we have the number four cincinnati Bengals hosting the number five las vegas raiders each and every one of these games are going to be extremely entertaining this one is going to be tough of course as always the lines that you're going to see in this video are subject to change by the time the game rolls around tomorrow but right now the cincinnati Bengals are five and a half point favorites over the las vegas raiders i am going to go with the cincinnati Bengals, but but I would be very cautious here because I do think the Las Vegas Raiders are going to keep it close. And I think the Bengals and experience might end up screwing them over in this game. So I wouldn't be shocked if the Raiders upset. Throughout the regular season, I have viewed the Cincinnati Bengals to be very similar to the Los Angeles Chargers. They both have a second year quarterback with extreme amounts of talent surrounding them on the offensive side of the ball. And then a defense that sometimes can get the job done and sometimes could not get the job done. And I think if the Raiders were able to beat the Chargers last week in the fashion they did, I see no reason why they couldn't have a chance in this game to do this same exact thing not to mention i do think the cincinnati Bengals inexperience could come back to bite them here but i just think they're far too talented to lose to the las vegas raiders team and i'm gonna go with the Bengals at 4 30 p.m tomorrow moving on to saturday night football we have the most important game of the entire weekend as the six seeded new england patriots travel to orchard park to take on the third seeded buffalo bills and i gotta be perfectly honest with you i'm not being biased whatsoever i don't think the patriots stand a chance in this game right now the bills are four point favorites and i think we cover that with ease there are two things that need to happen in this game for the bills to win one is stopping the run and if we do that the patriots will have no ability to move the ball down the field and the second thing it just can't be windy if it's windy then the patriots will have a chance because we won't be able to throw the rock around the field as well as we usually can but it doesn't say it's going to be windy it's just going to be terrifyingly cold but that doesn't stop the ball being thrown. We should be able to move the ball on this secondary at will. Like I said, I don't think the Patriots stand a chance here. They are severely outmatched. If we stop the run, they will be squashed quick. Four-point favorites, way too low. Sunday at 1 o'clock, we get our first NFC wildcard matchup as the two-seeded Super Bowl champions host the seven-seeded Philadelphia Eagles. In this game, I think it's going to be a lot closer than people are suspecting. Right now, as we speak, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are eight and a half. Eight and a half point favorites over the Philadelphia Eagles in this wild card matchup. That is way, way, way too many points. I like the Eagles to cover that. Bucks are missing so, so, so many offensive weapons right now to cover eight and a half points in a wild card matchup against a stout Philadelphia Eagles defense. That is a ludicrous number. Obviously, a couple weeks ago, Antonio Brown left the game in stunning fashion, and he's no longer with the team. Chris Godwin is out for the year with a knee injury he suffered near the end of the regular season. Not to mention, they're missing secondary running back Ronald Jones, as well as Cyril Grayson, one of the wide receivers that have been stepping in place of all of the star guys that have been dropping like flies. The Bucks might be getting back Leonard Fournette or Giovanni Bernard for this game, but if those guys are out, I mean, that Bucks offense is going to have literally nobody beside Gronk and Mike Evans, and, and that's going to be tough for the Buccaneers to move the ball against that very stout, like I mentioned earlier, Philadelphia Eagles defense. Bucks have not been playing too well over the last two weeks. They won by a game-winning touchdown against the New York Jets in week 17, and then were only up by seven against the Carolina Panthers going into the fourth quarter, where then they blew them out, but still. And we cannot be forgetting what almost happened to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last year in the wild card round against a Taylor Heineke-led Washington football team. I'm not calling this game a lock by any means at all, but minus eight and a half, that is ludicrous. Take the Eagles to cover here without question. Moving out, we have the six seeded San Francisco 49ers traveling to Dallas to take on the second seeded Dallas Cowboys. This is going to be my upset pick of the week. I do think the San Francisco 49ers come out on top in this game. The biggest X factor in this game for both teams is Jimmy Garoppolo and his performance. 
If he plays well, the 49ers win it hands down. If he gives you your average Jimmy Garoppolo performance and doesn't play very well, the Cowboys win it hands down. It's all going to depend on Jimmy Garoppolo and how he shows up this Sunday. Because otherwise, I think the 49ers are a much better team than the Cowboys. I truthfully do think that. I think their defense is much better. Their secondary is better. I think they have an extremely good run game that will beat you into the ground. It just all depends on if Jimmy Garoppolo can execute. For Sunday night football here in the wild card round, we get a joker fight matchup. As a second seeded Kansas City Chiefs host the seven seeded team who probably shouldn't be here. I would assume as a group you understand that, you know, we probably aren't supposed to be here. We're probably not a very good football team. In the Pittsburgh Steelers, they got here on one hell of a miracle. This season has been extremely bonkers. It's been stupid some weeks. A lot of teams have won games this year that they really shouldn't have one and with that being said that is the only thing making me think that this won't be a 40 point game in favor of the chiefs Tyree kill and clyde edwards alaire are not looking too hot for this coming matchup they've both been downgraded this week at practice who knows if they're going to play and those are two humongous pieces to the chiefs offense especially considering the chiefs offensive line struggles this year at different points of the season i do think if tj watt and that pass rush are on their game that it will be a very close matchup i mean like i said i'm not going to sit here and tell you that there's going to be an upset but still, I mean, it could be a lot closer than people are thinking here. Either way, I'm taking the Chiefs here. I am not taking a 12 and a half point spread in favor of the Chiefs. I'm probably not touching that. I'm just sticking with a money line pick here and going with the Chiefs. For our final wild card matchup, we get a Monday night football game for the first time ever. This is a powerhouse game that I did not expect to be seeing so early into the postseason. The fourth seeded Los Angeles Rams are hosting the fifth seeded Arizona Cardinals. And I just got to be straight up with you. The Rams are winning this game without question. I mean, this is probably my most confident pick next to the Bills beating the Patriots for this entire weekend. The Cardinals have been playing such horrendous football down the final stretch of the season. They dropped four of their last six games. They haven't been playing well whatsoever. They were the last undefeated team to be remaining in the NFL earlier this year. And now they're the fifth seed in the NFC. That is pretty traumatic. Talk about a collapse of epic proportions. And now they draw the Los Angeles Rams, who are one of the most talented rosters ever assembled in NFL history in the wild card round. I mean, this Rams team is not going to lose. Not here, at least. Each and every one of those guys on that roster knows that this is probably going to be their best chance in their entire career to take home the big trophy. They are not losing in the wild card round. But yeah, those are my picks for wild card weekend. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Very, very exciting that we get some playoff football, but also very, very sad that we get playoff football because it's almost over, man. As always, if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. If you want to hit the bell to be notified when I upload, I'd appreciate that. You want to go over to Twitter, follow me over there. I'd appreciate that as well. I have a TikTok down in my description that you should check out, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.